So I'm here the morning of the Women's World Cup final. Who would have thought when I come to Australia a few days ago that England, the Lionesses, would be in a World Cup final. I'm going to head over to Manly, I've not been there since I arrived, see if I can catch some fans, have a little chat and then obviously head off to the stadium for the World Cup final. Come on, you Lionesses! Better. Things got better, it's all sweet, Labels got budget. Since the game, since I knew we had Spain, I was like, it's going to be so tight. They're going to dominate. I don't think they'll break us down, but we'll score a goal. But I've just got this 2-0 in my head, and I don't know why. Budget there, enough budget there, but not for me. Oh, it's already going. Look, it's going to depart. What do you mean? In my eyes, what do you see? Probably nothing. Must be lame. Where I'm from, don't do that. Yeah. Look how high the bridge is, please. Get that in. I like, see the flags. I won't tell you what my pants look like when I come down. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's me. I'm on smoke and don't smoke weed. Long night, stuck outside. Rather be stuck inside. It's a joke, guys. They were clean. <laughs> I mean, as a player, when I retired, I didn't think this would be the path I would take. So I thought I'd be a coach. Maybe I, I thought I could have been here one day as a coach, but certainly not as a pundit. Did I ever think that the Lionesses would get fans that would like travel millions of miles across? just for 48 hours to watch them in a, in, a, in a game. I never thought it would happen. And whether they're fans that have always followed the Lionesses or fans that literally have jumped on board with the success of last summer, these girls have done something, literally, to our nation and the nation are now behind them, so it's amazing. Make or break here, then what? I don't want to find off more things to spend on. Should slow down or then what? Like, even I was sitting in the stadium the other day, sold out 80,000 in the semi-final. Like, that's the only thing that we ever dreamed of. And, I was sat with Kelly Smith and nudged them. I was like, Kel, imagine you out here. And they're the platforms that we've always wanted to play on. And these girls get to do it, you know, pretty much every tournament now. With budget, I'll be really big. Do I look good on camera or do I look butters? <laughs> You know what, retirement, I get, honestly I didn't know what to expect, I was obviously nervous, wasn't ready to retire, but I don't think I could have wished for a better two year retirement. The fact that in my first year, go straight into punditry, the Lionesses win a home Euros, which, mate I can't tell you how many years I was trying, <laughs> I say trying because it was so bloody difficult, and they brought it home and then a year on from that, win a World Cup final, so I think the Lionesses have made retirement easy for me and, and special because I've got so many memories from what they've achieved over the last two years. I mean, the Lioness was together nearly 12 weeks when they won the Euros last summer, so to be in, in camp for that long, I always used to say that the teams that can, I guess, cope with each other for that period of time are always the teams that are going to go on to be successful. And you grab each other's backs, and they've certainly had that, and dug out results when they probably shouldn't have won them. So. Fans are unbelievable. If only the Lionesses could film, witness, and see how incredible the fans are. I've just learned a few chants. Super excited to maybe say them tonight in the studio, and it's purely because of the success of the Lionesses and what they've done. Podcast. You guys have won England or Spain? All, all I'll say, Wimbledon 20 titles, so I'll, yeah. I'll leave it up yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the legend, living legend right here, this one. If, if she'd been sent off in the last 16, <laughs> miss two games and we get to the final, she's <laughs> starting. <laughs> I got a pair of these from Mark Overmars. I end up wearing them, yeah. She only won seven World Cups.
So the museum was phenomenal to see some of the amazing women that have played the sport and drove the sport on uh, for so many years. But the disappointing thing was there wasn't much about the Lionesses. But let me tell you, after tonight, we're going on that board and there'll be some legend role models up in there. But this, this legend here, she should have been in there. This is a legend of the game. One of the best, if not the best player to ever play, so she should be in there. Doesn't matter if she didn't win anything. It's nice to experience it though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but you know what? Because England didn't achieve, she was under recognised. This is the truth. Ballon d'Or, World Player of the Year, she should have got all of that. Should have got all of it. Should have, should have, she should have. I'm telling you, this is the truth. We are off to the stadium for the Women's World Cup final with superstar presenter pundit Alex Scott who's probably doing her notes and making sure she's fully fully prepped as always and I'm just having a coffee and um, chilling, <laughs> being lazy. The chances Australia had against England, yeah. if Australia can create chances against England, yeah. If Nigeria can create chances against England, yeah. if Colombia can create chances against England, yeah. why would not Spain be able to break England down? Jonas, the Swede is not convinced. Yeah. That's why he's coaching Arsenal, not England. <laughs> so, yeah, he did. <laughs> Brutal! <laughs> Alex is staying calm and quiet and you don't want to peak too early so I just save my energy, save my energy, then bam! I'm just heading in for the media accreditation check over here into the stadium and have a little chill before we get ourselves ready and go on air to watch the Lionesses make even more history and bring the World Cup home. Come on! This is a revolution, I'm revolutionary, I got the fire in my belly, I'm ready! Just got back to the hotel, absolutely gutted about the result for the Lionesses today. Immensely proud of their achievements, going all the way to a World Cup final, making history. The result wasn't to be for us, but certainly they would have changed perspective back home. I'm in my pyjamas, as you can see, absolutely knackered, emotionally drained. Um, so I'm going to jump into bed, head back to the UK, but just want to say love to the Lionesses and love to Sydney. It's been a pleasure. Over and out, people. I, I